Hello and welcome to day 78 of 100 Days of Tonalism. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy, and the study that I'm doing today is by Lewis Meakin and it's called Normandy Road. <clears throat> this is a piece that um, I've done twice, as I mentioned in my blog post today, uh, having uh, sold the first version I did. Um, I actually prefer this version, but uh, both both were really fun to do, and uh, Lewis Meakin is not somebody I knew much about, and uh, I've been trying to research him uh, online and not finding much. I will go ahead and read you what I've got here. I think the uh, first little bit that I found was from uh, Wikipedia. Lewis Henry Meakin, 1850 to 1970 was an American Impressionist landscape artist born in Newcastle England moving to Cincinnati Ohio with his family in 1863 after studying in art, art in Europe he returned to Cincinnati where he taught at the Cincinnati Art Academy from 1911 to 1917 he served as curator at the Cincinnati Art Museum where today some of his pieces are on exhibit so as you can see, that's not a lot of information. Let's go to this other site. It was um, Azil Gallery in Cincinnati. Okay, well that's where he's from, so that would make sense why uh, they have some of his work there. Um, Lewis Henry Meakin. Meakin became a still skilled painter of landscapes, especially of scenes along the Ohio River. Cincinnati is in Ohio, for those of you that uh, don't know and the Canadian Rockies. He also painted during the summers at Cape Ann and Gloucester, Massachusetts. Fellow artist George Bellows called him one of, quote, one of America's best landscape painters, unquote, according to the South Bend Tribute. Hmm. South Bend Tribune. Anyway, that's about it for old Lewis Henry Meakin. Um, and uh, as you can see, this painting is, you know, we got a full five minutes today. So if you don't mind, I guess I'll just uh, babble on for another two and a half minutes. That can't be too hard. Just uh, imagine uh, you met me at an opening or something. Anyway, um, the latest series of blog posts is kind of getting into my history and stuff. Uh, it's been a bit of a challenge um, after the initial probably first 25 or 30 posts on tonalism um, there's only so many original things that I can say about tonalism without uh, you know just picking up people's books and reading what they have to say and I don't really feel right about that so what I did after that was uh, got into um, my my uh, painting practice and uh, um, the way I work and I outlined uh, a lot of uh, the, the pigments that I use and uh, various uh, approaches I use in my painting process and uh, so that was good for you know 25 or so post and now we are faced with uh, the downhill slope but um, I've decided to get into my history a bit and how I came about uh, becoming a landscape painter and uh, a bit about my journey as a painter and artist as well. Um, I had a previous blog, uh, I don't recall it, but you can easily find it. It's uh, it's on Blogger um, under M. Francis McCarthy. I think the blog might be called M. Francis McCarthy, but uh, <clears throat> I wrote about a lot of uh, these issues with, uh, you know, um, about my past as an artist and things on that blog, and I won't be getting into that sort of extensive detail here. Uh, um, in, in this particular uh, series. What I will be getting into though is you know I'm giving people, a, I want to give people a bit of background about why I became a landscape painter and then um, it'll probably lead into me talking about why I think it's uh, so important and uh, why I chose it as a medium you know and uh, hopefully that'll be interesting to some of you and uh, you know it's interesting to me and it's one thing that I can write about and be completely authentic and original so that's uh interesting to me 
Um, see, we're getting close to the end here. Uh, thanks for joining me for day 78, and we'll see you tomorrow for day 79. Uh, if you'd like to see more of my work, go to landscapepainter.co.nz and check it out. Uh, meanwhile, take good care, stay out of trouble, and we'll see you tomorrow.